Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name, of course, who would have guessed it, is Chad. It's almost like my name's on the channel. This week, we're talking about these. Well, not th this is a sample, but we're talking about international driving permits. What are they, how you can get one, and how we can all disgrace ourselves all over the world. That and much more coming up in this week's video. We're talking about these bad boys. These are international driving permits, uh, although this is a sample printed out on a piece of, of bad cardboard. And you also might notice I'm not in my regular studio setting, and that's because I'm, I'm kind of in need of showing you guys some online stuff in order to do this, so I needed an area where I could do that appropriately. And the reason I kind of wanted to talk about this was I actually only recently found out about this. I found out essentially just carrying a driver's license of whatever country you are on any of these countries that are currently scrolling over my face, uh, including the red one, which is Japan, that you can drive there somehow. It doesn't matter what side of the road you're on. It doesn't matter if you pass a class. Uh, anyone that has one of these can drive there, and uh, I guess until you hit someone or something. Now, that might, I don't know, maybe that doesn't sound impressive to my European fans out there that drive all over Europe, uh, but in America, we're kind of isolated, and that sounds actually really interesting and cool. Also, of note, I have a buddy, I'll call him P, because... He didn't give me permission to tell this story, and I'm telling it anyway. So P works in Japan. He's in his mid-30s, and he has failed the driver's test three times there, despite being a lifelong American driver with a clean record. Turns out the Japanese driving exam for their license, really hard. In fact, he, he let me kind of glance over his workbook that they go over. He's been to school three separate times, three driving schools in Japan, and still hasn't passed. And yet, somehow... Hopefully, at the end of this video, even I will be able to go over these, because not only am I showing you these, I will be getting one myself. Hopefully. Now, you might be asking yourself, Chad, how can I go about getting one of these? What are the rules and restrictions? How could they possibly let someone as stupid as you, Chad, drive? And I'll tell you, once we go back to our desktop screen. So this is my desktop. I'm at the DMV. This is the Department of Motor Vehicles. Whatever country you're in, if you're a part of any of those countries that were listed earlier, you can do this on whatever your governmental driver's license website is. Essentially, these are not drivers. Everyone calls it an international driver's license, but that's kind of a misnomer. It's a international driver's permit, as you can see right there. Uh, and essentially, it doesn't give you the right on this paper's own to drive abroad, but you can use this paper in conjunction with your already valid license from whatever one of those countries that you were at, and this allows you to drive in all of those other countries. So you have to already have a valid driver's license. The other cool thing about this is whatever attachments that you have on your, let's say I'm American, so I'm gonna use America as an example. If I have a motorcycle stamp or a commercial stamp, for driver's licenses, so I can ride a motorcycle or, I don't know, drive a bus. Then, this also lets you do that in the foreign country, which I think is really cool. It opens up opportunities maybe for some more international cool stuff, like moped riding or international truck driving. Pretty much just those two things, but either way, I thought that was pretty nifty. So, if you are looking uh, to do one of these, there's a couple restrictions and requirements. You can see on here on screen, you have to be at least 18, so in my state, and in my country, uh, 15 you can get a permit, 16 you can drive. No matter what, you have to be 18, even if you have a valid driver's license and you're 17. So 18 minimum. Uh, you always have to carry both your IDP, this little piece of paper, as well as your driver's license uh, when you're driving abroad. You have to have both. This does not mean that you're allowed to drive without your other license. You also have to obtain your permit from the same issuing country as your license. So if I'm an American, I have to get it from an American source. Uh, I cannot get it from England or maybe from a Japanese IDP source. It has to be from my country. You can also not use this in the country that it was issued, so I cannot use this to drive in America. And also, unlike my license, which I think is allowed for five years, my normal license, these essentially expire a year after they go into effect. One of the nice things is, though, it's not in effect right when you apply for it. You can actually have the person write the day that you leave to go abroad, and then that's when it'll be valid, so one year from that day. Or you can make it today. If you want to have it today, you can. It's whenever they write it, which I think is super cool. And this gets to applying. Uh, there are a lot of scams, apparently, according to the DMV website, of people who are trying to give these away, but they're frauds. They're not legal, and if you try and drive with one of those fraudulent ones, you'll get screwed. So, according to the government website here in the States, we only have two options that you can get these from. Every country's different. Go to your governmental driving thing. We can do it through AAA. I'm sure everyone who's an American and even tons of people abroad know AAA. Um, or this company, which I don't know. This is the AATA, which I have no idea who these guys are. Uh, but I went through AAA myself. I happen to know them. I also know there's a AAA office 
uh, you know, within 30 minutes of my house, so it just makes it easier. And all you need to do, if you're gonna apply for one of these, you're gonna click one of these links, and I'll go to the page where that pops up later, but you need a valid US issued driver's license, because I'm American, so you have to get it from whatever country you're from. You need two photos of yourself, so passport size, meaning two inch by two inch. Uh, I'm not gonna go into what you need in a passport photo, that's not what I do. If you guys want, there's a thousand videos on YouTube on how to make your own passport photos, but I'm gonna try and not go get passport photos taken anywhere and just take a two by two against a white wall in my house and see if I can print it out on regular printer paper and see if they'll allow it. If they don't, you know, maybe this video is gonna be late for Wednesday, but if they do allow it, hey, that's pretty sweet. You also have to make the uh, appropriate payment and this is also really cool, it's only $20. Uh, and then you have to correctly submit it. So you can also mail these, you could do most of the work online, or you can go to an office. I'm gonna go to an office today because there's one close by. But it's gonna depend on where you're at and what you kinda wanna do, so I will leave you to decide what is the best option for you, because you're an adult and I'm sure you can handle it. So you will click one of these options, I did the AAAP, -A -A the, the AAA application, and it popped me up over to this side, so this is the AAA application. In fact, in this top corner here, you're gonna be able to print this, and I highly recommend it, but one thing that Chad would recommend uh, from my experience doing this, don't print it before you fill these out. You can actually click in these boxes and type it. Uh, my handwriting's atrocious, so I and these are also really small boxes, so my handwriting on these are not gonna be good when they print. So just put your stuff in uh, however you're gonna end up doing it uh, before you print it and you're gonna come down here, so check desired permit. I just got the international driver's permit. I don't know what the inter-American driving permit is. Maybe that has to do with like the Americas, so North, Central, and South America. I don't know, I just did the IDP. That's probably what you guys are gonna do too, so you're gonna click that box. You're also gonna click uh, what vehicle type your driver's license are for. So if you have a, a motorcycle sticker, so you get that. Uh, normal people get the passenger card. The passenger card, the type B is what just the average license is. You have to get special stamps to get motorcycle, vehicles over 7,700 pounds, over eight seats, or something with a heavy trailer. But if you have those, you can also get those to use in other countries, which I think is really sweet. Uh, you can't sign in here, so you're gonna have to print out and sign this, and then you're gonna date it. Uh, and then obviously down here, this is if you're shipping it, you're gonna fill in your shipping info here so they can ship back to you. But these are all the countries. Uh, you can pause the video real quick if you want and try and find yours or wherever you're going. These are all the countries that this is valid for right now, at least when I'm making this video in 2020. Uh, I think that this is just a really cool idea. So I'm gonna real quick go print this out with no help to Mr. Mittens. Hey. Hey. Nope. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hate you so much. He's trying to help Chad out, but he's not doing a great job. Probably gonna have to fire that intern, but that's that's a whole different talk. Uh, and then I'm gonna drive over there real quick, and I will see you guys there. Let's see if let's see if this actually works out. Okay, so I am here. I have my paperwork. I am at the AAA. So I'm gonna go in and see. Hopefully, if my printed out uh, passport photos actually account for anything which it probably won't, but there's also Walgreens in this same parking lot, literally directly across the street. So if I need to, I can always go get my photos taken over there real quick. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell by the utter disbelief on my face, but I actually, let's make sure there's no personal information on the front. There's not, I got it. This, this is the international uh, driver's permit. I can drive in Japan legally now. Guys, that took less than five minutes. There was no line. Um, I just went to the front desk and asked for an IDP. They said, did you have the thing? I get handed it to them with the two pictures. I just printed the pictures off too, directly off my printer. They're not like, you know, special passport photos. And they took them. And uh, I'll go over this more when, when we're back home so you guys can see it. Um, I'll probably have to blank some stuff out because there's some personal information on there. But uh, $20 in and out in five minutes, I can drive in Japan now. The fact that more people aren't doing this astounds me. Alrighty, so you guys saw there, we got it. Uh, somehow I, I went without an appointment, I didn't call anyone, I just walked in and said, I heard about the high EP, can I get one here? And the lady looked at me all weird and was like, yeah, and I got it. I, this is my international driver's permit. It took maybe five minutes, it cost me $20 minus I bought this cool, uh, this exterior thing to protect it, and that was remarkable. I mean, if that doesn't make you hate how long the DMV takes, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna take for you to hate the DMV. But let's give you a quick hands-on of what this looks like. It does have personal information, so I'm gonna find a creative 
solution to that first. Alrighty, we're doing kind of a jerry-rigged hands-on here. This is the sample I showed you guys from earlier. This is what you can expect. Uh, as you can see, they put a date on the top. Um, I don't know who actually signed this, but I don't think it was the person that helped me out. Uh, and this is my actual international driver's permit, which, hey, I got it in the same day that I, I applied for it. You can see it was a, a $20 fee, and I kind of want to show you guys what you can expect when you get it. Um, inside, it gives you some rules about how it's valid and where it's at. And then it has this really cool facet where inside, where they have all these stamped, it tells you what types of licenses are allowed. Um, you can see if there's any type of exclusions from which countries you're allowed to use this in if you break the law or something. And they'll actually write on here why you aren't allowed, usually because you broke the law, you, you hit something, you... I don't know, maybe you drove without insurance if there's a country with law with that. So this will tell people if you're not allowed to drive in one of these countries. And each one of these has a page for each language. So it's like a translation. You have, I assume, Arabic, Russian, uh, Chinese. Oh, Lord, I don't even know. Portuguese, maybe? Um, and then, all again, all the countries that's valid. There we have Japanese, probably Spanish, uh, German, and, oh no, that might be Spanish. Maybe the other one is Italian. I don't know, guys. I don't know Western languages. But in each language, they stamp it so they know what they're allowed to do. And then you go to, uh, what's this one? Maybe this is German. I don't know. I don't know these languages. Uh, this backside, you can see some tape. This isn't normally there. That's because I have personal information on here. So I'm trying to make it so you guys don't get that personal information. But you can see the final thing. They basically stamp directly on your photograph. So they actually accepted my weird two by two thing that I printed off printer paper. You have to obviously sign, um, and then they stamp what class your thing is, and then they put it all over so they can make sure you didn't remove your sticker. Pretty much what happens is there's a, a glue stick type thing here, and they just rip that off and then place yours directly on, and then that's your stamp, I guess. So for some reason they allow that. And if you can't tell, this thing that's above here, they basically have five lines that are like your name, your address, you know, your, your phone number, your issuing country, that type of thing. So I had to cover that up. But you can see, this is my official, real, international driver's permit. And if I can't recommend anything, like I said in the video, uh, this was only two bucks. I definitely saw the value in that. If you guys are gonna be driving a lot or maybe you're going abroad for a long time, pay, pay the two dollars for, uh, for the protector. All right, well, it didn't occur to me that if I turn the cameras around and all my lights and stuff, that I'm probably not going to get the same result as the last time. I probably should have done my outro first. However, if this looks horrible, I don't know, maybe I'm not in frame. I don't care. I've been filming for like a half hour now with retakes and stuff. I'm tired. I want to get this video up. Uh, if you guys like this video, be sure to like it down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or compliments, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. I do personally, myself, read all of them. Likewise, with this video, uh, not obviously next week, but I go back to Japan around April-ish this year, so about two months from now, I'll make a follow-up to this of me using this, renting a car in Japan, uh, going out and practicing driving. Uh, you guys can see me, hopefully, either make a fool of myself and get deported, or maybe learn a new useful skill. So be looking for that, and if that sounds interesting to you, you can subscribe. I put out a video every single Wednesday on this channel for freezies. Hands-free, don't charge you anything, there's no paywalls here. But if you would like to support me monetarily, which is never required, but always welcome, maybe I can recoup some of that $20 I had to spend, uh, you can definitely do that. I have PayPal links everywhere. My Patreon's a great way to support me if you're interested in that. I have a manga club that you can get four new Japanese mangas shipped directly to you from Japan every single month for less than a dollar a day. You can also catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chad Zimmerman, I think. All right, that's enough self-promotion for this week. Uh, one last thing, I want to say thank you and shout out to Brooke. Brooke sent me a package of, uh, of teas, of delicious chocolate mint teas. My favorite chocolate mint teas, by the way. Uh, after she didn't have to, uh, I didn't even put it really out there that I, I was asking for it. It wasn't like a stream tip thing. So I just want to say thank you, Brooke. You're the best. Likewise, uh, I have a... I think it's too early to announce. I'll announce the first week of March, but the St. Chaddy's stream. If you guys don't know what St. Chaddy's is... Check out the St. Chaddy's highlights video that I put out a little bit ago. That stream is coming up as well. It should be March 17th. And we are going bigger and badder. And because we're going bigger and badder, we're doing it on Twitch. Because I don't want my channel deleted. But uh, let's just say cow prods, uh, hot peppers, electricity, and green slime. I'll, I'll leave it at that. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have just a beautiful, beautiful week. Love hard, love deep, and hopefully I'll see you driving next week. Bye-bye.